Hey guys, Ibra here. And right now, I'm really, really in self-quarantine. I took myself to the house that we have on the beach, so I'm gonna be staying here until this thing dies down. But I have limited food here, so I'm going to be fishing. If you can see, I have two poles. One pole is gonna have uh, some bait fish on it, color bait fish, and the other one I'm gonna have shrimp. So I really need fish, like I really need fish because I don't really have like groceries here. So hopefully we'll get into something, but the power is out at home, so we have no electricity home. And the rain is just keep falling and stopping, falling and stopping. So it's not the best, but hopefully I'll be able to get onto some fish. So let's go. On my big rod, I'm going to be trying to get onto something big. So I need big bait. So I'm just going to cut this in half. And use it a half at a time. So you're just going to put this big head on. Like I have a double hook rig that I I manufactured here. So I'm just going to put one in the front and one and one hook to the side. One in the front. Okay, I think I did this one. I don't know what to do. So it needs to be like this. So. Alright, so that's him. I'm gonna throw this one out like right now. Something big. Another stingray. Alright. So I'm gonna put this in the rod holder with a super loose drag because I'm not trying to lose my rod. loose drag but well, not so loose but all right and now I'm gonna put some shrimp on this other pole and send it out which one yeah he's there but he doesn't feel too big <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but he's on the soup. Is this? Ah, it's a little catfish. Dang. <laughs> Got me excited. All right, our first fish. A little catfish. trying to get food like I'm a, I will keep him just to have at least have something so let's get him off the hook Got them off. So that's one fish. Let's try to get some more, but hopefully bigger. I got some more. Yeah, 
sun. Feels good. I just saw it. I think it's swimming in. What is it? It's like a good fish. But it's a... It's a croaker. Yes. We got a croaker. Good fish. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Yes. We got a good croaker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at him. Let's get him off the hook. Look at that. Nice fish. Nice, nice fish. So, all right, easy. Yes. Got food. Thank you, Jesus. You got food. Yes, yes, yes. But I need to get it back out there quick. Just in case there's more. There's more around. So let's throw it back in the same spot. So you can try to get another one. Let's check our bait real quick. This one is a bit loose. All right, that's good. Checking the top bait. All right, that one is good. Okay, let's get it out there again. Yes, I'm so stoked. Ah, yes Lord. Uh, when I was just ready to give up because I'm getting soaked in the rain, it's super cold and it's low tide. Uh, and it's low tide so nothing was really working, at, working for me but praise God I got a good fish. I got a good croaker. Yes. There he is, 17, 17 inches to the tail, yes, beautiful. I'm gonna start scaling that fish right away since I'm on the beach already, that way all the mess can stay here, so I'm just gonna use the back of this knife. <laughs> and scale it right now. Okay, so let's go wash it off. And I need to wash off this lid also. So. so take all of this for a rinse.
That looks good. So we're gonna cut them also. So now I have all the scales off. Yeah, just passing my hands along the fish to see if I missed any scales. Because now I want to open them up and take the guts out. So just gonna start with his inner cavity. That's a nice way of seeing his bottle. But this is not the best knife. Like this knife isn't too sharp. But this is all I have right now. All my other sharp knives are at the house. But this will work. to the jaw all the way up okay. so we're gonna separate this right here and on the other side separate this side too okay. gonna open them and pull from the gills try to get your fingers through all the gills and yank it up from the gills and go right back so the all the, the gut should be attached to it so try to get everything out which I did not what is all of this in his belly? Is that eggs? I'm not sure what that is. I think it was gonna be eggs. I'm not sure. But it doesn't look like eggs really. Out. and I'm gonna keep all these guts so I can put it in my crab trap I have a crab trap that I want to put in the um, in the river so I can get some swim crabs to use as bait or if I got like some really big ones I'll keep it for my family to eat and take it to whoever wants it so that they can have that to eat and I'm also not keeping the head also. I put I need to cut the head off because I'm putting the head in the crab trap also. So I'm gonna try to cut off the head right now. Ooh. I might not have the best knife for that. Because it's pretty hard. Let's see if I can do it from here. The birds are waiting for me to just to just turn away for them to come and eat eat whatever I drop off. So I'm gonna try to cut this head off and that will be going in the crab shop also. Alright. So the crab trap bait. I cut my finger also, it's fine, so let's go give this a wash again, 
to get all this blood out. And get these birds away. Bro! What you want? Okay. Let's wash it off quick before they come and. Woo! <laughs> Yo! Get away! Get away! You're not getting my gut. I need a rock. I need to move fast. Gotta wash it off fast. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> These birds. No, no. Alright. Okay, we're good. Get away. Okay. So there we have it. I need to I will cut these fins off. I have a scissors, yeah. I'm gonna cut these fins off now. But I need to get these guts in a bag. I didn't think that through. I just, I'm not sure if I have a bag. But I'm, I'll put it away. So I have a little scissors here just to cut these fins off. Try to cut all the fins off. These ones are pretty tough. I get so much better doing this on the beach. Cut this one off. Now this dorsal fin Beautiful. So get this back in the cooler and put those guts away and wash this cool off so these birds can leave me alone. So I'm back at the house. I changed my clothes and cleaned myself off because I was really cold and fresh. But I have clean clothes on, I'm feeling warm, feeling good. So now we're gonna get this fish done because I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Like it's literally like survival mode. Every time I'm here, I, I don't know why, but I go into survival mode. I bring bare minimum food because I don't know, I just think I'm gonna catch fish every day and get fish, but we got fish today. And this is what we have today. That's our fish. And there's a little catfish there, the catfish we caught. So I'm going to have to go outside in the yard to look for seasonings. I know there's thyme and there's shadow benny 
outside. So I'm gonna get a couple of those leaves so I can see to the top I have salt and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna fry this fish and have it with cricks or crackers. So let's go. <laughs> So this is what we're working with, small leaf thyme and channel berry and I have pink salt. So I'm gonna put this to the side a little bit because I have to cut them up and I do not have my tripod so I have to try to do this with one hand or just do it and then show you after. <laughs> but I need to cut this fish in half so I can have a piece now and save another piece for later. So I'm gonna cut this in half with my big butcher knife. So boom, there it is, cut in half, looking good. Um, I need to put a cut, I need to put a cut in this. All right, and the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. And then I have to cut these, dice these up, and then I'm gonna sprinkle it on there and rub it in, and sprinkle some salt on there and then rub it in. So there it is, all our greens, all our greens chipped up and in there, and then I have our salt. I'm gonna shake some on there. And get, get our hands fresh again. So it's gonna rub that in. Like it smells really good. Like I really like these two these two seasonings is like my favorite to use. And it's always available, like which part I am, because we grow them. So it's always good to have. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna get the stove ready and the oil nice and hot. I just remember I did have a few cloves of garlic so I chip them up really small and you know it's poking them in to the slits so they can get into the fish and I did have a half of lime also so a really small lime but like this is a really small so I just squeeze the half in there and I, and I save the other half for next time so I'm just gonna rub this ginger in garlic in and put pieces inside like poke it in the fish so we go fry and stay in there so now I'm gonna let this sit for a bit so they can soak up all the all the flavor and then fry them our oil is hot now and our fish is ready and I'm gonna just do one piece. I'm gonna save I'm gonna save the rest for tomorrow for another day.
Tem. <laughs> that was not what I planned to do. I panic. So I'm gonna just let this simmer, and then we're gonna have that. And I had some leftover mashed potatoes, so. Yeah, I'm just trying to be as frugal as possible for this few days or this week. Oh, I'm not even sure how long, but I'm just trying to be as frugal as possible. Okay, we're done. It's getting dark, so I gotta get this video done before it gets too dark. So I'm gonna let that all the excess oil drain off and cool down there and then we're gonna have some fish for dinner and go to sleep and then go fishing tomorrow okay here we are let's see what it tastes like a nice little piece focus on it so let's have a piece. Instantly, wow, instantly full of flavor. And I just use salt and just barely use anything. But it's so fresh, I caught it like literally right like 20 feet away. That is so so fresh. It's very flaky, very like moist and like it melt melted in my mouth like seriously melted wow that tastes so good and i barely used much stuff that you could tell just by how fresh it is all the flavor is still in it man okay i <laughs> wow like it's hard like this is just it Look at the white meat. So, so good. So, so good. Thank you for another video. I'm going to be in quarantine for a little bit. So, I'm going to be doing this every day so I can eat. This is literally my first meal of the day. So, I waited all day to eat this. I'm going to enjoy this. And hopefully, I can take a well-needed rest after and wake up tomorrow and do it all over again so thank you guys be sure to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you next week